The U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Tel Aviv for talks on Israel's military operation in Gaza. He's held a meeting with the Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Israel has been stepping up its military offensive despite rising international pressure. Austin had previously warned Israel risked a strategic defeat in Gaza if it failed to protect Palestinian civilians. He'll head back to Bahrain after a day-long visit before traveling to Qatar as part of a tour of the Middle East. Israeli media says the government and Hamas are open to talks on a new ceasefire and exchange of captives and prisoners to be mediated by Qatar. Negotiations stalled at the beginning of the month after a week-long ceasefire collapsed. Bernard Smith joining us now from Tel Aviv. So what are we expecting from Lloyd Austin's visit, Bernard? Rob Lloyd Austin joins a parade of U.S. officials and some politicians with a very similar message. They support Israel. They're not calling for a ceasefire, but there are too many civilian casualties. Lloyd Austin is the military man. He brings with him a wealth, a retired four-star general, a wealth of military experience. He was involved in the early days in American fighting with the Taliban in Afghanistan. He was involved in the U.S. planning to retake Mosul from ISIL. So he knows about urban warfare. And right at the beginning of this conflict just a few days after October 7th. He told uh, the Israeli military and the head of the de defense, Israel, you have too many troops stationed on the border. You should be using targeted airstrikes at Hamas's main, military, uh, Hamas's main leadership. The Israelis didn't listen and they went in full bore and are still uh, continuing this very intense air campaign. So there'll be more pressure on Israel to change tack. And Austin warned in December, he said, if you drive civilians into the hands of the enemy, then you risk replacing a tactical, a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. And we see how much Hamas's popularity has increased in the occupied West Bank since, uh, since October the 7th. So will the Israelis listen this time? Well, the Americans have met various screws they can turn, not least the significant financial and military aid that they give Israel. Bernard, thank you very much indeed. Bernard Smith talking to us from Tel Aviv.